In the best of the rest of the news, the Fukushima nuclear disaster could become a whole lot worse thanks to the Daiichi nuclear power plant's stricken nuclear uh, number four reactor. While there's no fuel in the core of the number four reactor, there's a spent fuel pool teetering up five floors above the floor, uh, above the ground in that reactor. And if the plant were to collapse, which is certainly a possibility, that spent fuel would spill out and cause unthinkable damage and release huge levels of nuclear radiation into the surrounding areas. So what is TEPCO, the company that runs it, doing to prevent a complete collapse of reactor number four? And are there efforts enough to prevent yet another nuclear disaster in Fukushima? Joining me for now, and now for more on this, is Paul Gunter, director of Beyond Nuclear. Paul, welcome back. Thanks again, Tom. Great to have you with us. First of all, um, my recollection was that reactor four, the fuel pool up in the ceiling of reactor four, actually had fresh fuel in it because they were going to fill uh, the reactor, or am I, right. is my memory uh, the, wrong? The fuel pool uh, that's uh, six to ten stories God. in this reactor building contains both the uh, what they call spent fuel, it's far from spent, it's highly radioactive, right. but they also have the fresh fuel, so they offload and, um, on, and then refuel from that Right. That that right. that because they were going to refuel the reactor yes. before before and the so, earthquake happened. But the unit so four was under uh, reactor core repair, so they were actually they're actually there were cracked parts in in the reactor that were being repaired. So they offloaded all the fuel during that fuel outage, and oh. then the, then the earthquake and tsunami hit. So, so all of the reactor, the high level nuclear waste was up in that that elevated pond when the uh, accident happened. So we've got. Presumably hundreds of thousands or millions of pounds of water and radioactive fuel in the sixth through the tenth floor of a building that is listing. Do I have this right? Yes. And, and the, the Tokyo Electric Power Company has been uh, performing uh, efforts to shore up the, the building, but we remain concerned that the, uh, the structure of this, of this supporting the fuel pool is damaged and that another severe earthquake uh, could cause this whole thing to fall over, even despite the, uh, the, uh, the shoring up that the company's done right now. And it's a big concern because Tokyo Electric Power Company has already shown that it's incompetent and can't be trusted. They've been disclosed to have falsified reports about these reactors themselves, Fukushima Daiichi, and now what we really need is more international focus, more in international uh, expertise to come in and uh, oversee and actually be involved in this very tenuous and dangerous operation. Yeah, I knew two days ago there was a report that a cyclone was heading toward Fukushima, and I thought, it brushed oh, by today. Yeah, but so, it didn't take it down. We're, you know, we're very concerned because of these hundreds of uh, tanks that s store radioactive water. We've got uh, areas on site outside right now where uh, workers could be exposed to lethal doses of radiation within hours. And certainly with inside the reactor, there are many zones in there where death would be instantaneous. So, you know, these are the hindrances that storms, another earthquake, could exacerbate the repair what's, altogether. In, in the last minute we have here, what's the status of the measurement of the radiation hitting the United States? Are we measuring seafood that is here? Are we measuring the ocean currents? Are we measuring the air? What do we know about it? Um, well, the, the Food and Drug Administration only recently uh, instituted food bans on certain uh, agricultural products coming out of the Fukushima area into the United States. So we have seen action taken on that front. As far as monitoring seafood coming into the United States, there's still uh, no regulatory concern from the United States at this point. So it, it remains a concern. Uh, we Would you we eat don't have fish. Um, I, eat, I eat seafood right now, but I'm concerned about the future of uh, the seafood industry. I'm concerned about rainwater. Yeah. Uh, there are many concerns, but clearly uh, the main concern is that the monitoring effort, our vigilance, should be stepped up. Yeah, absolutely. Paul, thanks so thanks much. Thanks so much. No Appreciate nukes. It. Yeah, no nukes. Beyondnuclear.org.